Let's open up the sketch in 0502 called Why Can't I Join? So after a while you are going to start drawing different style flats and run into problems joining. Let's hope not, but perhaps. Okay, so first of all, let's determine which sketch needs to be joined. So we have A here, which is a half a dress, and B is a half a pant. Correct, it is the dress. The dress's body is a continuous piece without a center seam. So the left and the right can be joined. Let's look at the pants. As for the pants, you can actually see that we have a closed left and a separately closed piece for the right. So these pants do not need or rather can't be joined as each object is already closed. Let me just go ahead and demonstrate what we would do to complete this garment. Here we would simply select all, transform, reflect, copy, move the copy over and then we would select our anchor points. I'm just going to do this quickly and join. You would then send this to the back curve these anchor points, add anchor points. But here for the pants you can actually put a fill color inside already and then all you need to do is select all these parts, transform, reflect, copy, move it over. And as you can see here there is a center seam so there is no need to join. Obviously you would make some according changes for a jacket for example where you have maybe a placket that goes over to one side. So just remember if there is a center seam you don't need to join because you're drawing a complete closed piece on one side and then you can reflect it. Anytime it's a continuous piece and there's no seam in the center you would have to draw an open left and then reflect the right so you can join. Now let's look at C down here. I created two lines with a couple of choices to join so that we can practice joining and avoid problems in the future. This here is easy, right? Or is it? Well, let's see. Let's take our direct selection tool. And let's see how many open anchor points do we have. Okay, we have one two, three, four. So that means we could connect six different ways. Don't believe it? Well, let's do it. With your direct selection tool, click on the left anchor point and then click on the second anchor point from the left by holding down shift, which is this one. And then if you press Ctrl or Apple J, you would be able to join. Let me undo by pressing Ctrl Apple Z. So now we could do the same thing over here. So that's the second way we could join. Let me undo. Then we could join from here to here. That's number three. Let me undo. And this is probably what we would like to do. Four. But then there's the more complicated ones. We could join from here to here. Or we could join from here to here. Did you count how many ways we were just connected? Let me show you an error message that will pop up if you select more than three open anchor points. So by mistake we could just click and drag over three anchor points. One, two, three. Those are active, this one isn't. If I then try to join by pressing my shortcut Control apple j this error message will pop up. And it says here to join you must select two open endpoints. Well, what did we do? We selected three. There are some other things that it's saying, which I will explain later, but for now let's press OK. And let's actually talk about what the problem is. The problem is that Illustrator cannot make the decision for you. As you've seen before, we could join from here to here, or we could join from here to here, from here to here. So when we select more than two open endpoints, Illustrator will be confused and it will not join. The second part of the error message that we just saw has to do with grouping. Let me just go ahead 
and create another part here. I'm going to delete this one over here. Let's just pretend as if this was the stitching that belonged to part of the drawing. And let's say I group this. If I go to object group, these two will move together. So it's a group. Now, if I group before I join, and if I then transform reflect copy, which we do after we draw half, you would think that if I copied from one group, that the new part should be part of that group. But unfortunately, we now have one group over here and one group over here. So let's say that I'm using my direct selection tool to group between the left and the right. The direct selection tool will not show you where your groups are. The direct selection tool ignores your groups. And because we need to use the direct selection tool when we're joining, a lot of times we will try and join and receive this error message. So let me just press the shortcut. So what does it say here? If both of them are grouped, they must be in the same group. Well, it looks like they're not grouped, but they are. So let me just press OK and show you what you should do. So like I said before, unfortunately the direct selection tool ignores groups. So we need to go to our selection tool. If you click on the selection tool and then click on any of these objects, you can see that it's grouped. So all you need to do is go to Object, Ungroup, click on the other part, Object, Ungroup, and then you can try again, and this time it will work. As soon as I introduce grouping, some of my students become very group happy. What that means is that they group every little detail together. So for example, there might be a group on top of a group. And let me just show you what that means real quick. So what I could do here is I could group these two together. And then I started drawing something else. Let's say I put a belt loop over this. And then I feel like I want to group this together. So I do this again. And then I add stitching to this. And just to be on the safe side, it seems like a security blanket for some. I'm going to group this on top. So really what happens, and if I go into isolation mode, if I double click here, it shows me that I'm in one group. And if I click inside again, you can see how I'm inside the group. And then I'm inside a second group. If I move this over and click on this, you can see how I'm in another group. So in this case, if we have all these groups, what we need to do is ungroup three times. So let me show you. If I click on this first and I go to Object, Ungroup, some of the parts are ungrouped now, but some are still grouped. So I have to go to Object, Ungroup again. If I click again, there's still another group, Object, Ungroup. Now we're finally all the way into individual objects. So just pay attention that if you get any error message from joining, that you ungroup all the way. Remember, you're the one who's grouping, so maybe you grouped a couple too many times. We're done exploring problems that have to do with joining, so simply just close out of here and don't save any of these changes.